Showbiz with Miss G. Hello, Miss G. Hello. So, you know, the Grammys happened about two days ago. Yeah. And, you know, Cardi B is all over the place. People say she doesn't deserve her awards and all that. So, there's a lot of talk about the Grammys. Here in Ghana as well, there's one of our own who is eyeing the Grammys. That's, and Ghanaians are not excited that, that he's eyeing the Grammys. Why would they not be excited? I mean, because it's, they don't it's, want to see the Adui on air. Yeah. So, Pata Pat wants to get a Grammy. He says, as for the Grammys, he'll get it soon. But you know one of the things people are saying is a tweet. And people are asking, who put that tweet together for him? Okay. Well, yeah, so it, 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 it could be that, you know, somebody's imagination. So, that's so, the tweet. Pata Pat, it says, one day we will win Grammys. Hmm. Okay, but in this case, he says one day we will win he Grammys. Says one day, one day. Yeah, one day, one day we'll win Grammys. Uh, but so he's, 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 people are he's not saying him. that he's the like one who's going to win. It could be that Ghana is going to win. Oh, Grammys. but that's on his page. So we, he and his part to pass soldiers will win <laughs> Grammys. Okay, so and these are some of the uh, responses. Hmm. You think, say, Grammys be high school awards? Eh so people are mocking him and. I don't know why they think that, you know... They say dreaming is free, but it's true. I mean, dreaming is you free. Ras Bingi says, it's possible. Just work harder and never look back. Never allow anyone to discourage you on whatever you set to achieve. You see, and, so and some, it's some, true. Someone is, you know, at least positive that... Yes. Part to part soldiers can win Grammys. So that's part to part. Part to peasy, you know... I in the it's Grammys. Possible. Mm, yeah. Very, very possible yeah. for him. Again, in showbiz training today also is that comment made by wife of choir master Beverly Afagloba. You know, somebody called in when she was on Behind the Fame segment with uh, Lexus Bill to promote her play. She has a stage play on the 14th, The Man in the Mirror. So here's a conversation between the caller herself and Lexus Bill. Seriously, I, um, this thing has been bothering me. I wanted to know. Please, so are you still Mrs. Barr? Yes, please. We thank God. I am so grateful. <laughs> the rumors, I don't like it at all. Thank God you are here. You are clearing this out. Thank you. Yeah, Della, what rumors were you hearing? That they are no more together. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right. Were you hearing rumors like that as no, well? No, I never heard. I'm surprised as well. Mrs. Ma, but do you have your ring on? No, I don't. Why? It's not a printing on my hand. When I act, I see print on my fingers, so I take it to special places. So my studio is not a special place? No, please. <laughs> Nobody's seeing me <laughs> in the studio. I'm seeing you and you oh, don't but have you your know ring me. on. Huh? You know me, don't you? Yeah, I know you, but you don't have your ring on. You know what's me. wrong if your your fingerprint your the, the ring prints on your finger? So it gives me um, different colors on my finger when I'm acting and I'm not married. In the different act. colors, one, <laughs> one people. people. <laughs> so what is wrong with that? <laughs> and everybody understands that it's a, it's a ring, isn't it? Yeah, but um, I I didn't like what I saw in my last movie, Brown Sugar. It okay. was premiered in of December, December. So is he also allowed to take his ring off? Yes, he is. We are, we are married. Everybody knows you're married. Well, yeah, so these are preferences. So yeah. Mm. So she said. So do you also take your ring off at some point? Well, I'm, when I'm about to sleep, I I am not so used to it. I must tell you, when I'm about to sleep, sometimes when I'm cooking, sometimes okay. when I'm washing, so I don't see, the, you know. It's so uncomfortable sometimes. My system is not still adjusting, actually. So I can but understand. But you need to keep it but on. But I don't take it so to special places. I take it everywhere. But you need to keep it on so you get used to it. If you keep on taking it off, then it's going to feel uncomfortable. And you need and, to, yeah. So uh, keep it on. I'll try. But I, don't, I take it everywhere, not to special places. And for those who say... But it's my the, home. Yeah, for those who say the, their band is printing on their finger, mm -hmm. they can open it up a bit. Oh, okay. But I, I, I don't have it tied, but you see, I think I get what she means. See. Okay. See. This one can be taken care of with makeup. <laughs> because Indeed. you're acting. Yeah. Indeed. You're act she, because she's complaining okay, that when she's, she's acting. acting. Okay. You can, makeup. Can okay. We it. hear you. We hear you. So we'll keep it on all the time. Now let's go to actress Yvonne Nelson, who has been complaining bitterly that somebody destroyed her billboard. You know, her movie, Sin City, premieres on Thursday as well. And a lot of things are happening in town. So she was quite surprised driving by to see that it has been pulled off. Here's Yvonne. We were on our way from Peace FM. It was Francis and myself. So I took out my phone, because anytime I get there, I always take my phone out to do a video, you know, to post online. 
And then, you know, I was recording all, and then I saw it, I was like, Francis, the billboard. So it was so fast, we had already moved, you know. And I was like, I just said to myself, wow, is it that deep? Is it that serious, you know? I don't know, but I'm suspecting someone. Who is that? I don't know, but I'm suspecting someone. <laughs> Who is that? I'm sure if people will, you know, sit down and think. Because there are people who, well, there are people who are having their premieres the same day as you. There are people who are having activities the same day as you. And so if you're suspecting somebody, are you suspecting an insider, an industry person and all that? It can be an insider, as in someone from my team obviously not but okay but I am suspecting someone an industry person I won't say that for now but I'll let the police know because it's just weird you know it's just strange could it so, also be that she hasn't paid for the billboard but that's not the way to pull it down if that's the case is it well, you know you don't tear a part of it and you know she will still pay if she hasn't paid yeah because what, what happens is that if you owe, they flip the billboard. They oh. put, they tell okay, you that's why sometimes I see the things, I'm, yeah. trying to, I'm like, okay, what happened? Okay, I get it now. Okay, that's, that's one thing I never knew. Okay, then uh, we'll talk about Kwesi Oting. Okay, Kwesi Oting uh, endorsed publicly the MPP, and people said that he said somewhere that he was disappointed in Nana Kufuadu and all that he's been able to or not been able to achieve within his uh, two years in power. But he says, forever. He's a staunch supporter. Love you, they love you. When people love you, they love you. And so um, there's not a setback. Talking about your calling, do you get people hitting you up and saying, Chrissy, we prefer that you don't talk about politics anymore? Of course, of course. I get a lot of people um, um, doing that. And I think that um, it may never change for people to have sentimental. Um, opinions about uh, political views but I also as a as an artist um, also do not want to be boxed Jonathan we all um, represent so much and I believe that um, you don't have to hide your political um, opinions to be loved yeah, so is this to say that the headlines going around that you it's, said you regretted it's, it's false? It's false. I mean, I never said that. Anybody who read that article um, was disappointed by the headline. I've never regretted endorsing him. I, I don't think I'll regret endorsing him. Um, he took over presidency and is stabilizing the country to lift it. Every government... Um, takes time to rise. Two years, my team to you, as um, uh, forever when it's, it's it's happening. But I think you should be given a chance um, to see. Okay, so before I go, yesterday I told you about two perverse tweets, uh, yeah. the post that got a lot of people talking. Well, he wants us to believe that it was a publicity stance. So here's what he posted today. He posted a video that's from Ghana originally, and uh, the, they call them three idiots, but that's the caption. The caption matters than the video. So help us with the caption. So the caption says, let's try to celebrate positive things more. Bad news to they fly quick. Why good news no they fly like this? No cause for alarm. Make we laugh this once more. One love. Okay, so he wants us to believe there's a publicity stance. A lot of Nigerians won't believe it. They th they, and, and then the argument is that they think that somebody else manages his page, and so they're trying to, you know, control everything that has gone on. Annie, however, has still not posted anything on Instagram or any of her pages yet. I, I don't know what's happening. So at least two faces, no cause for alarm. So who All are right. we to get worried? Yeah. Anyway, let me go and mind my business. <laughs> and keep your ring on. Thank Aww. you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Ms. G, for bringing us show business. That's it.